what exactly is the idea? What are you doing over there on the island, John? Good question. Well, what we're doing this week is we're doing a residency with the St. Albans family, uh, who are residents on the mountain, have been for hundreds of years. And the idea is we're doing a new set of paintings in conjunction with the family and the team here on St. Michael's Mount. And what we decided to really get under the skin of St. Michael's Mount and to find out what it's all about, rather than day tripping on, we kickstart the residency. And uh, this is my, myself and also my wife, Joanne Short, who, who's an artist, and my daughter, Martha Lilly, uh, she's here painting. And we thought we stayed here. We get to really see it a as it is for the islanders. You know, watch the sun come up, watch the sun go down, watch the tide come in, cut us off for the night, and see the things that you might not see. And there are some fascinating things going on. I mean, one thing that's really uh, stuck in my mind is there is one rabbit on St. Michael's Mount, which uh, hops around in the evenings, picking up all the cake crumbs from the cafes, <laughs> and uh, I think there's just one. And also they've got some ravens here, and the baby ravens flying around. It's all very Harry Potter here. It sounds it. I mean, what a lovely experience, as you say, to watch the sun go up and go down on the island. What is that feeling like, though, when the tide uh, cuts you off and that is it, you are stranded for the day? Well, it's, um, we've been reassured that there's a helipad here and that there are, there are emergency boats on and off the island. So these guys are well organised. So you can put any sense of impending doom right to the back of your mind <laughs> and just enjoy that desert island experience. Just, yeah, I don't know, what is it, 400 yards off the coast of Cornwall and you've got a, uh, literally an island paradise. So I revel in it. We're all revelling in it. That seclusion, that peace. And, uh, you know, the beauty of the place, to be able to wander around the, the gardens and through the drift of bluebells on the cliffs with nobody else here apart from those 30 islanders who are, who, you know, you only bump into one or two people. It's beautiful. It sounds so idyllic. Is there a, a, a special atmosphere on the island that is quite unique? Even that little bit off of Cornwall, you are secluded. Is there a unique atmosphere there? There is. It, it feels, uh, well, they, you know, as, as you know, when you come on to uh, the harbour at St. Michael's Mount with all those cobblestones and the, the, the basic architecture of the buildings and, and the castle itself, it feels almost French or, or, or as if you're in, in Brittany. And uh, I suppose that that would be the case uh, because this has been built by the, the monks who did the uh, Mont Saint-Michel in, in Normandy. Uh, so there's a, a direct connection. But also having had experience with the Scilly Isles and staying on Tresco, we, we were there a couple of weeks back actually, it, it's got the feeling of the Scilly Isles, but in miniature. And what I, what I love about the, the island is you get this lovely shallow water surrounding them. And uh, if the wind's blowing from one direction, you can walk around to the other side of the island in five minutes and it will be boiling hot and sheltered and glorious. And we were there painting uh, in the subtropical gardens on the east side of St. Michael's Mount yesterday, and this beautiful school of dolphins just swam straight past the island with the raven circling ahead. It all sounds terribly poetic, but it's true. This is what this island is about. It, uh, it sounds incredible, and it doesn't get much better than that, does it? No, I don't, I don't think it does, really. And, uh, <laughs> you know, this, this, this is, you know, we're, we're cherry-picking here. This, this is... This, jewel in the crown of, of, of small islands, I would think, virtually anywhere. And uh, you don't need to hop on a plane and go to the Caribbean when you can drive to uh, Marizan and hop on a boat or wander across the causeway. What exactly is happening to the work, then, that you're all producing there on the island? Okay, well, the, the plan is, I mean, the work, uh, I mean, if your listeners want to see an example of, of the work, um, they can see that on Spotlight uh, this evening at half past six. And I'm going to be doing a, a painting uh, live on air during the uh, spotlight so they can sort of see the work uh, that we've been getting up to and see, see a work realised during the programme. I, I, I hasten to say I'm doing a very small one during the half I was going to say, what, what, <laughs> what an ambitious thing to try and do live on TV. How are you feeling about it? Well, I'm always up for a challenge. Uh, so so that, that piece of work that I realise uh, on Spotlight tonight, if it's uh, any good, I might have to finish it afterwards, uh, probably. The idea is to take all, all of that work together, and we have done a residency on the island before, but we didn't stay. And all of that work was taken off the island, put into a commercial gallery on the mainland, and sold in a normal private view situation, which was great. But in the end, a little bit soulless. So what we're doing here is when the collection's together towards the end of the year, uh, we'll be doing a special event on St. Michael's Mount where all the paintings will be displayed and we'll be inviting uh, guests from the John Dyer Gallery mailing list and from the uh, associates of the island and people who are interested to come over 
and uh, to experience the paintings in situ. And I went to a splendid evening uh, this week on, on the Mount, and they said, come along to one of our evenings. And what they do, and this is, this is a great tip, for um, just under £20, you can come over to the island on a special tour, and they will give you a cup of tea, spend an hour with you in the subtropical gardens, okay, uh, on a wonderful tour. They'll take you back, they'll feed you the most wonderful food, they'll show you a slideshow of all the plants, which ones you've missed while they've been in bloom, the whole thing. And it, that sort of event will do with the painting. But those tours go on anyway, and I, I would recommend it to anybody. Yeah, I mean, especially this time of year when the gardens are in full bloom and things are really starting to grow and come out. It just really is stunning, isn't it? Yeah, May, May and June, these gardens, in fact, the gardens across Cornwall tend to be at their peak. I mean, we've got, at the moment, we've got the lovely combination. Of, I'm actually surrounded by wild daffodils and bluebells uh, on the hillside, which goes up very steeply up towards uh, the castle itself. Mm. But interplanted with that, we have these wonderful formians, uh, which come from New Zealand, where we have all the lovely Justina palms. We've got priers growing, which are the mad, spiky tropical plants. We've got the agaves, which are the cactus. They're all here. Plus, we've got these towering echiums, which are those uh, uh, huge, triffid like blue flowers, which sort of go to 15 foot high. They're just coming into bloom as well. And plus, we've got all the campions, all the British native flowers here. So it's a wonderful cornucopia of, of, of plants here and set in this glorious, glorious setting. You sound a little bit inspired there, John. <laughs> well, one could say that. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what you need being a painter, isn't it? You need to be inspired. And uh, yeah, you know, it, it is an inspiring place. And, you know, when people come over to the Mount, and I think it's something, if you live in Cornwall, you tend to take it for granted. It's there, it's always on the horizon when you come down to Penzance or Mouth. You, you tend to look at it from the mainland, but make the effort, come over here, spend some time here. You know, it really is great, it really is great. Over here. I'm so pleased it's going really well for you, John, and I can't wait to see what you're going to get up to on Spotlight and um, how your challenge goes live on television. It's very brave of you. Yeah, wish me luck. <laughs> I will do. Well, good luck with the rest of the residency, and it's been lovely to talk to you. All the best. And you, Emma. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. That's uh, John Dyer, Cornish artist there, uh, live from St. Michael's Mount. So, tune in to Spotlight this evening, BBC One, 6.30, where John will be starting a painting, and then at the end of the programme, see how far he got.